Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wow Crendor, and today I'm going to be doing a Crendor Rambles episode. If you enjoy hearing me talk, this is great for you. Um, and if you don't, well, I don't know why you're here. Either way, um, today I'm going to be talking about the NFL playoffs, and I'm going to be doing a lot more of these type of rambling videos, as well as World of Warcraft ASMR and normal ASMR over on my youtube.com slash goodnightcrendor channel, which I've revived. Um, after years of not doing anything over there. So if you enjoy ASMR or you just enjoy me talking or you enjoy wow, ambient sounds or whatever it may be, uh, why not go subscribe there and you'll probably be happy because that's all I do. Um, and this is, it's not even a thing where I'm like, oh man, this is gonna, this is me hopping on the bandwagon, bandwagon of like ASMR or whatever. I was, I love ASMR. Um, I've promoted it for years. Uh, mainly because I don't even listen to it to fall asleep. I listen to it to help. Um, it helps me focus. I guess it gives me some sort of background noise to listen to. Um, and I just, I always enjoy, I enjoy, I always enjoy things. I always enjoy just having some background noise helps me focus. And it's a very, I don't know what it is, but it makes it more productive. Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The background noise of ASMR makes me more productive than say, just listening to um whatever it could be like i'm <laughs> now i can't think of anything that, you know you know what i'm saying right um like certain sounds just make me focus better i don't know if that's weird i don't know if it's crazy um either way youtube.com slash goodnight crendor i'll be doing a lot more of these i'll be doing like weekly playoff uh nfl stuff i'll do other sports i'll be doing just video game rants in general whole bunch of stuff, and then again, ASMR. So check that out if you'd like. Um, so let's talk about the NFL playoffs. Um, first things first, um, we've got a lot of new teams in the playoffs this year, which I'm very excited about. I think it's always good to change everything up a bit, even though the Packers aren't in, which makes me sad because I'm a Packers fan. But uh, it's fine. I don't even mind it because Dom Capers has been fired, who is their defensive coordinator and has been for almost 10 years actually um and i think they just need a fresh a fresh start over at defensive uh just a defensive scheme in general um i just the packers it worked very well for a couple of years i think when they won the super bowl that's when it was really thriving when they had a lot of big playmakers like charles woodson nick collins uh tremont williams they just had so many good secondary players they had a good defense then and ever since then, they've kind of gone downhill. Uh, people have figured out the defense. They give up so many points every year. Every time they lose in a playoff game, it's because their defense has just been awful. It's like uh, they'll score like 40 points and the other team scores like 45. Like we just we needed something fresh. We need, and I'm, I'm kind of glad we lost this season because it helped shake things up a bit, which I think they desperately needed. And we get a higher draft pick, so it all works out. Um, and we'll be back next year if nobody's injured, especially Aaron Rodgers. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about this year's playoffs. Uh, there are three teams in the AFC that are not normally here. The Titans, the Bills, and the Jaguars. Uh, in the NFC, it is the Rams and the Eagles. Eagles haven't been there in a while. Um, and the Rams haven't been there in a long while. Uh, so let's start with the AFC. Let's start with the first game that's even going to happen on Saturday. Uh, early afternoon and that is the titans and the chiefs titans and the chiefs um, are the fifth and the fourth seed titans finished nine and seven chiefs finished ten and six and i'm actually pretty excited for this game for a few reasons number one the titans i don't think are a great team and i'm curious as to whether they're going to step up their game in the playoffs and just come alive or if they're just going to crumble because I don't think they're going to beat the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are a pretty solid team. I think they had a little bit of a road bump halfway through the season. I think they're getting going again. I think Alex Smith has evolved into a pretty good quarterback, essentially. He's gotten some weapons around him now that he didn't have in the past, like wide receivers. There was a year where he didn't have any wide receivers. Uh, he's got a good running back now. Um, and I think, I think the Chiefs are going to win this game. It's going to be something probably low scoring. It'll be like Chiefs 17, Titans uh, like 
six. I, I that's what I would say. Um, I don't think Tennessee is going to do that well, but I'm happy they're in the playoffs because I actually like the Titans. I like their logo. I think their uniforms are cool, and I got nothing against them. So uh, I think the Chiefs will win, but I don't really care who wins this game. I'm just watching it to be like, yeah, playoffs, go teams. Um, so that's the first game. Night game on Saturday is going to be Atlanta versus LA, the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Rams. The uh, Rams haven't been to the playoffs. They used to be the St. Louis Rams a few years ago and then a lot of years prior to that uh, since like the early 2000s, like um, 2000, or they haven't won their division since the early 2000s. It's like 2003, last time they won their division. Um, and now uh, they've, they've made it to the playoffs like one time I remember and it was like they barely squeaked in at like eight and eight and they just got I'm pretty sure they lost that round hold on let me uh check here uh St. Louis Rams where's the football thing here we go pro football reference yeah the last time they made the playoffs was 2004 so it was 2004 they uh, lost in the divisional round of the playoffs at 8-8. Eight and eight, And that was the last time they made the playoffs. So that was actually a very long time ago. Um, and then ever since then, we got 8-8, 6-10, 8-8, 3-13, 2-14, 1-15. Through 2007 to 2009, they were a very bad football team. Uh, essentially winning, what, uh, three, two, once. They won six games in three years. We're almost getting the Cleveland Browns level at that point. Uh, then they turned it around a bit and went seven and nine in 2010. And then two and 14 the year after that. Oh, my God. And then uh, a lot of mediocrity under Jeff Fisher, which is what he does. Seven, eight, and one, seven and nine, six and 10, seven and nine. And then last year, four and 12. And then all of a sudden, uh, 11 and five this year. All their players through all that time finally came together. They finally uh, just got it going, and now they're just they're rolling. And I think they're a really good football team. So uh, they're playing the Atlanta Falcons in L.A., and I like the Rams in this one. I think the Rams are going to stop them with their defense. I think the Falcons, uh, who were in the Super Bowl last year, I don't think they have the same type of uh, team they did last year, essentially. I think they're I think they've taken a step down. I think they're a bit older. Uh, I think they're still good, but I don't think they're the best team in the NFC. And I think the Rams are better than them. I think they're going to run with, through them with Todd Gurley. I think the Falcons are going to play good defense, or the Rams are going to play good defense. And I think the Rams are going to win this one, like, uh, probably like 24 to 14, 24 17. It might be a little close, but I think the Rams will take it, like 24 17. Uh, next game is the one I'm most excited for is the Sunday game at noon. Bills, Jaguars. This is the ultimate uh, new generation playoffs. This is the Jaguars, who haven't made the playoffs since 2007, uh, taking on the Bills, who haven't made the playoffs since 1999. That's right. They have not made the playoffs in the 2000s era. Almost 20 years without making the playoffs. That's actually insane. Um, and the Bills... Uh, barely made it in they had to have Cincinnati win and Cincinnati did win and it was crazy I'm very happy for Buffalo because I actually have friends from Buffalo and I played video games with them growing up and I'd always be like oh do you like the Bills and then they'd always be like yeah but the Bills are bad but we still like them and now I'm just happy that the Bills finally have gotten over the hump and gotten back to the playoffs it's a it's a very good story um are they gonna win is a better question though um and from everything I've seen, I think the Bills are going to beat Jacksonville. I think Jacksonville is a decent team. I don't think they're 10 and 6, though. I think they've played some pretty mediocre opponents. They're also in a very weak division in the AFC South. Um, and I think because of that, I think the Jaguars are more of a 7 and 9, 8 and 8 team. And I think they are slightly below the Bills. I think they're too undisciplined. I think they're too young. And I think... Um, I just... I don't think it's going to work out. I think they'll still be competitive, but I think Buffalo has a slight edge. I actually think Buffalo's defense, 
Buffalo's running game with LaShawn McCoy as long as he's healthy. Uh, it's going to be great. I think Tyrod Taylor, Kelvin Benjamin, they got a lot of players that I think um, are going to step it up, especially playoff time. I think they're motivated. I think they're pumped up. I think they know what they had to go through to get to this spot, and I think they're going to really be just motivated to win this game. And uh, that's why I'm taking the Bills. And I think it's going to be... Um, it might be a little high scoring. I think it might be like 28-24. Uh, I think the Bills will win. Or something of that variation, like 24-21. It's going to be something pretty close. Because overall, they might be... I think they're pretty evenly matched, but I think the Bills do have the edge. And that's why I give it to Buffalo. And then, finally, Carolina-New Orleans is the final game on Sunday. And this is probably the best matchup uh, of all these teams. Both teams are 11-5. and five. Both teams are division rivals. Um, and I, I think both teams, uh, really just want to get back to the Super Bowl. Both these teams have been to the Super Bowl, uh, before they got experienced. The Panthers a bit more, cause I think the Panthers were there only two, two or three years ago. I think it was two years ago. Um, and the Saints have Drew Brees, who's won the Super Bowl before. So it's just, uh, it's in New Orleans. That's one of the big deciding factors. And I think because they're in New Orleans, the Saints are going to win. But I kind of want the Panthers to win. Not going to lie. Um, but I think being in New Orleans is going to give the Saints the slight edge over the Panthers. And this should be a good game. This should be like a high scoring game. It's probably gonna be like 34-31 uh, or something of that variation. It should be a good game. But I was saying the other week when I made one of these on my uh, ASMR channel. Um, it's going to come down to whoever gets home field advantage. And because the Saints got that, I think the Saints are going to win this one. So I would say we got Chiefs, Bills, Rams, Saints. I think those would be the teams that win. Um, and that would mean the next round of the playoffs would be the Patriots taking on the Bills and the Steelers taking on the Chiefs. Uh, and then the NFC would be the Eagles playing the Saints and the Vikings playing the Rams. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and make more predictions here because why not? Um, so if the Patriots play the Bills, I think it's going to be a closer game than a lot of people think. Patriots have kind of crushed the Bills. Uh, they're division rivals, so they play each other twice a year and have so for many years. And I think the Bills are going to be really motivated. And it showed when they played against New England um, two weeks ago. And it was a really close game. Buffalo actually had the lead. Uh, and they were doing really well, and then they got a call reversed on them, and that kind of turned the tide. Um, but I think come the fourth quarter, the Patriots would just uh, take over, and I think the Patriots would win that one. Um, even though I'd hope they would, I would hope Buffalo would continue to win it out, because uh, that'd be a great story. I'd love that, but I think New England's going to win. And then uh, Steelers Chiefs, they actually played each other last year. They played each other pretty pretty recently um i think the chiefs could win that one i think the chiefs could win that one and the chiefs to me are a team that are built to take down bigger teams and i think because of that i think they're gonna they would beat the steelers and i think it would be patriots chiefs uh in the afc championship i wouldn't count out the steelers though because i mean they're a good team but i watched them play against the packers i watched them play against the bears they played a lot of teams i know and watch all the time and I'm not super impressed with them I don't they they actually got blown out by the Jaguars uh they're not extremely healthy um I don't know I'm just I'm not fully sold on the Steelers yet while in the NFC we would have the Eagles and the Saints and I think the Saints would win that one just because um Carson Wentz is injured Carson Wentz is out Nick Foles doesn't look great and one thing I've learned from watching the Packers this year is that a backup quarterback is definitely nowhere near your MVP caliber quarterback. And in a playoff game, in this type of scenario, I would trust Drew Brees over Nick Foles. And sure, they're going to have a good game. Sure, the defenses are, are a part of it. Uh, but the Saints have two really good running backs. They've got a pretty decent defense, and they've got Drew Brees. And I think that'll win in Philadelphia which I feel bad for because I thought Philadelphia was going to go to the Super Bowl, honestly. If they had Carson Wentz, I would pick them to go to the Super Bowl. But they don't. And because of that, I give it to the Saints. And then on the other side, 
Vikings Rams, I would pick the Rams. And one, um, I am slightly biased. All right, I'm a Packers fan. I'm in the NFC North. We play. We there's three teams the Packers hate. It's the Bears, the Vikings, and the Lions because everybody hates their division rivals essentially. And then maybe a few throw-in teams like I'm not a big Seahawks person because we played them so many times in the playoffs. Uh, I wasn't a big 49ers person for the same reason. So you kind of develop rivalries um, in playoff games and stuff like that. But um, the Vikings, from a purely non-biased perspective, um, the Vikings are a really good team. Don't get me wrong. They're a great team. They have a solid defense. They have a very good defense, in fact. Um, their running game, I'm not completely sold on. Uh, and... This is part of the problem. Their offense, their offense in general, led by Case Keenum. He's had a great year, but I don't know if he's going to lead them to the Super Bowl. I just, I can't see Case Keenum, a Case Keenum led team going to the Super Bowl. He's just, there, there's always this point, I feel, with these types of quarterbacks where they break. And I think the playoffs is where they kind of break. And it's not, you know, it's not like he's going to implode and throw like 10 interceptions or something, but I think it's going to be one of those things where you're playing a good team like the Rams and they have a good defense, good running game. They're just well built all around. And I think he's going to make one or two mistakes, whether it's like a costly interception, circa esque Favre, <laughs> Brett Favre in the, the NFC Championship game against the Saints when he just threw a random interception for the Vikings. Trust me, I know all about that. Vikings fans because Brett Favre did that for many years with Green Bay in the playoffs um, and in normal games <laughs> uh, and then uh, some really bad luck for the Vikings which is just kicking um, with Blair Walsh missed the like 15 yard field goal chip shot to win the game uh, two years ago against the Seahawks and then uh, if you go all the way back to the late 90s the Vikings had one of the best teams and I believe it was Gary Anderson He'd made like a hundred field goals in a row and he needed to make one to like put the game away and he missed it. And that was that. And it's, uh, it's going to come down to two things. Either the Vikings are going to lose because of Case Keenum making too many errors or they're going to lose because they miss a field goal or something. I guarantee you one of those is going to happen. And I think it would happen against the Rams because I think the Rams are a really good team. And I think uh, they're good enough to go to the Super Bowl because... Now we would have two, uh, well, four teams left, and I think it would be Patriots, Chiefs, uh, Rams, Saints, and I would go with the, um, it's kind of a toss-up between the Patriots, Chiefs, but I would go with the underdog pick, and I'm going to actually take the Chiefs because I think the Chiefs beat the Patriots earlier this season, and I think that they could do it again, and I'd pick the Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl for the AFC. And I would go to the NFC and I'd pick the Rams because I think the Rams, um, even though the Saints are good, I think the Rams uh, are just a better all-around team than the Saints. Uh, but it's also very good. I think the Saints are a good team. It's just, uh, it's one of those things where I've watched the Saints and they like do really badly, then they do really well, and they do really badly, do, then they do really well. The Rams have kind of been more consistent. And I think that matters going into the playoffs. I think they're a little bit of a, a hotter team and I think their defense would clamp down on Drew Brees pretty well they have a good pass rush um, and so I would say the Super Bowl would be the Chiefs and the Rams what an unconventional Super Bowl uh, and honestly I don't know who would win that one but um, I would probably I would I'd would probably like the Chiefs to win it because I think Alex Smith uh, should win a Super Bowl I think he's uh he's a good quarterback He's not a great quarterback, but I think he's grown as a quarterback throughout the years. He's been to the NFC Championship. He's been to... Has he been to the AFC Championship? He's gotten close. He's been to like the divisional rounds, playoffs. So I'd like to see him get there. Um, and I think the Rams are going to be good for years to come. So I'm not really like, oh man, I hope they win right now. But I think the Rams uh, are just going to keep getting better because they have a lot of young players and they're gonna keep growing um so i would actually pick the chiefs watch the chiefs lose this week like to tennessee um and then you know there's always the patriots who could just steamroll everyone you never even know um 
But there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that can happen. So leave your predictions in the comments section below. I'd love to hear them. And uh, again, I'm going to make another one of these next week. Uh, keep going with the playoffs. It'll be on my other channel, though, on YouTube.com slash Goodnight Crendor. Again, link in the description if you want to check that out and subscribe. And uh, I'm also going to be doing some other ones. I'll do ones for the NBA because I watch a lot of NBA. Uh, now that the It's weird. I didn't think I'd watch the Bulls, but they've actually been really fun to watch every so often. I'll be like, hey, a Bulls game's on, and I'll watch it, or I'll watch highlights. That's usually what I do. I just watch highlights of games. Um, and then... Uh, NHL probably. This is usually when I start watching NHL. Baseball, off-season stuff. I talk about pretty much anything because I love sports. Uh, and then I can also ramble about video games. Just life in general. Who knows? We'll see. Either way, uh, I hope you enjoyed listening. And I will see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya. <laughs>